Namaste beautiful souls, how are you? Well, I was a little tired out today and I couldn't come in earlier. So I just thought I'll connect with all of you beautiful souls out there right now. So let's see who all are there. Let's see who all joins in. Let's bring in some love, 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 love and light. Hi, Fate Like Gravity, love and light to you and to all the beautiful souls on my page. So I just thought of connecting right now because though it's quite late, but then I said I must connect with all the people and um, I'm coming up with an Instagram live session tomorrow. It's going to be a very interactive one and uh, so it's going to be 10.30 p.m. IST. So, love light, yes, of course. <laughs> so, yeah. So, how have you been? So, I've been a bit tied up in writing my third book. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So I've been busy writing my book also, my third book. And it's in the power of gratitude. And so I've sent my second book to the publishers. I'm sending my third book now on Monday. So I love writing all the time, you know. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Hmm. Pleasure, it's a pleasure. And, uh, you know, the pain I went through when I was about 10 years back and uh, that pain was very immense. And um, remember, the only person who can actually help you in life is you yourself. And, uh, you know, you can hear things from people all over the world. But the person who has to put in the effort is you. And I know what I went through in my journey of inner transformation because... Um, 10 years back, I was not even in acceptance with what was happening in my life. I think a lot of people are so ignorant. They don't know what's going on in their life. And, uh, you know, but um, I think it's very, very important to come in acceptance with everything. And that's exactly what happened to me four years back. Because when you come in acceptance with everything, then, you know, you realize that why the life happened the way it happened. And today when I look back at life, I actually smile at life because I say that, you know, how could, how could I have ever expected a different result? Because I was functioning from a conditioned mindset and I'm putting in efforts and efforts, but those efforts are based on a conditioned mindset. It's based on the self-limiting beliefs. So then how could I ever expect a different result, right? And four years back, I went and uh, into my inner transformation journey. And, you know, I think everything, you can uh, join the dots together in life. And you realize that whatever happened to you was in the, yes, fate like gravity. Acceptance is first step, yes. And so I realized that, you know, like life is all about joining the dots together. And everything what has happened in your life is connected to whatever it is. So it's like joining the dots together as such. 
and um, but today I'm so happy where I am and I feel so blessed and uh, you know it's it just I have a very different life now I am very very happy and I feel like sharing as much as I can with everybody and uh, so basically you know like uh, the thing is that we normally call the third eye as um, so this is the third eye right it between the eyebrows the third eye is this now what happens is that um, your third eye is actually your first eye because we all are spiritual beings right so the third eye is the first eye right and how you can open your third eye is that you take these two fingers and you put them between these two eyebrows so you just tap them just tap them like close your eyes Now, the more you tap them, right, the first eye. So, the more you tap them, what's going to happen is that the more is going to open up. It's not going to open up all of a sudden. Sorry, but it's going to open up eventually. But you keep on tapping this and the best time to tap is the theta state. You know, when I go on um, everybody's live sessions and all, I realize that one thing they don't talk about is the theta state. You know, everybody talks about affirmations, do meditation, do this, do that. But nobody is understanding that the theta state is a state when the magic happens. Because the subconscious mind is maximum receptive in the theta state. They say do this, they say do that. But you know, in my journey of inner transformation, I've realized that the magic only happens in the theta state. And that is just when you wake up in the morning and just before going to sleep. So that's like a very, very, very important time as to what are you looking at. Because a lot of time, you know, people get up and they're like, oh my God, I got late. You know, so they're like late, late, late. So if you say to yourself first thing in the morning that I'm late, then you will get late in everything. You know, or if you start thinking what this person to me, say to me yesterday or day before yesterday, you start thinking the same thoughts again and again and again. And it shapes up your day. So rather than getting up and thinking about negative thoughts or negative things or like, you know, oh, I've got late or something, why not start the day with a grateful heart? You know, and that's very important. Now, today I was looking at my post also. The thing is that people also forget that the law of attraction is basically, it requires three steps, right? And a lot of time people forget one of the steps. Magic state awareness now always, yes. So the first step in law of attraction is that you visualize, right? Now, when you're visualizing, you have to believe it to be your reality. You have to have immense belief in it. It is not just you visualize and you take actions. I'm not saying that. Please understand from where I'm coming. I'm saying you need to visualize you need to have immense belief that yes, this is my reality and then take aligned actions. You know, so please don't forget the three steps. And if you don't follow even one step, you will not get it. And I will call a spade a spade. I will not say no, 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 just visualize, go and have a pizza, you'll get it. No, it can't happen, no. Because even to pick up a glass of water, you have to take action. You have to stretch your arms. You know, so it's basically about visualization, immense belief, and it's the aligned action. That's how the law of attraction works. You know, a lot of time what happens is that we are doing a push and a pull mechanism. Right now, what is a push mechanism? A push mechanism is that you're pushing ourselves towards the goals, the dreams, whatever you want in life. Right. But the pull is all our doubts, our fears, everything. And the most important thing is that first of all, people should know what they want. What do they really want in their life? You know, sometimes they're doing something, sometimes they're doing something else. So they, they don't have a clarity. And then they're expecting to do very well in life. It doesn't happen. So it's very important that, see, everything starts with an idea, right? Everything has to start with sowing the seed. So your seed is your idea, right? Now, once you've sowed the seed and you've got the idea, then your feelings 
will be like you know what you want to manifest your desires your you know your heart desires so your feelings your emotions are like your heart desires right so these things are very important and basically it's a lot of time you know people have now i don't even understand one thing like uh, why do people have fear because fear is basically false evidence appearing real it's about the anticipation of the pain which you may experience may is like a probability right which you may experience in the future you're not sure but you anticipate that i might you know be i might get pain for this or you may have a doubt or a worry or whatever but fear basically you have to head on face the fear whatever the fear is and we can never run away from our fears because the more we run away the more it's going to come keep on coming to us and the more it's going to get amplified so why not understand that we are limitless beings and that yes we can live a limitless life and that can only happen if we have no fears if we have fears how can we live a limitless life it's contradictory right if we are saying on one side we are a limitless being and then we are still not taking actions it doesn't make sense you know and the thing is that basically yes of course the fear comes from your past experiences or your past beliefs and all but it is fear is not real and 90% of the time the fear people have got are not even real but what happens that small fear amplifies 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 and becomes a big fear and then eventually a person becomes a victim to the fear you know a lot of time people become a victim to their fear but if in the first go for example the little voice in the head right uh, whenever we trying to do something the little voice comes in and says don't do it don't do it don't do it shift in perception yes fate like gravity so the thing is that basically the little voice is always talking in our head and the little voice will always stop us from doing things because the mind wants to be in a comfort zone so if the voice doesn't start talking then you will you know in sense that you'll do everything possible to come out of the comfort zone so the mind is ensuring that you stay in the comfort zone and the more this voice you hear the more i think you have tell your voice that thank you but i am not going to i'm going to go ahead with what i want to do in life and the more we say thank you we're going to go ahead you know the more we're going to challenge ourselves in doing things and remember that god challenges only those who he thinks has the capacity to evolve and grow as a person and i feel that if a person has not had challenges in life i think that life has been a very mundane life it's been a very boring life it's been like you know like imagine you watching a movie right if there is no climax in the movie then how can you enjoy the movie right so it's basically challenges come to make us grow and you know evolve and grow as a person so that's what it is and i think each one of us can basically bring a shift in our mindset the only thing which is really required are firstly you need commitment you have to have a commitment that yes i commit to changing myself and that commitment nobody has to make it to anybody they have to make it to their own selves they have to commit to themselves that yes from now onwards my life will never be the same because i know that i have the power to change my life you know and <laughs> thank you grateful heart thank you so yeah so these things are really important and i just feel that you know people should follow something where they have got a passion for a thing you know you can't be just jumping from one car to another to another to another the a lot of time people don't even take time to decide what they want to do in life they just keep on jumping 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 like a bandwagon you know like a bandwagon yes acceptance awareness of where you are absolutely 
and when this comes in then the journey of inner transformation starts before that no one can take this journey and i am not here to tell people how to live their life you know i'm not here for that <laughs> you know i'm not here to tell people that do this and do this and do this no i'm not here to do that i'm here to take you to the well and to make you have water the water you have to drink yourself i am not going to tell you that live your life like this who am i to tell you i can just tell you that i went through my inner transformation journey i reprogram my subconscious mind in theta state and this is what i am today and where i am i'm really happy blessed and i feel very good about myself that i did take this journey <laughs> thank you so much fate like gravity it's so wonderful that you come you know it's so nice i had a very nice session today evening also in fact and a lot of people are joined in then also but yeah like the thing is that i'm coming up with an instagram live session tomorrow 10:30 pm it's going to be a lot of uh, it's going to be a very interactive session a very experiential one i've put the post of that and i'm looking forward to that then i've got one on tuesday i'm going to be putting the creative of that also because uh, it becomes nicer in the sense that um, thank you you're a blessing so i'm doing an instagram live session tomorrow at 10:30 uh, pm ist then i'm doing one more instagram live session on uh, tuesday at uh, tuesday it's going to be at uh, what time is it on tuesday tuesday it's going to be 9 o'clock 9 pm ist and then there is another one happening on thursday and uh, then there i think there's another one happening on saturday so i'm coming up with a lot of instagram live sessions and i just want to make this as interactive as possible you know these live sessions and all so i'll be doing a lot of live sessions now and um, each one of you are a miracle the power is within you and if you see the thing which requires to change your life to understand is basically your will to change your life because when you have a will the way always comes the way always is shown to you by the god in universe but if you have no will then you will not be shown the path to take this inner transformation journey you know and um, basically you know you have to understand that see remember a lot of people are talking about all this wherever you go affirmations and law of attraction everything but the most important thing is that all this has to be done in the theta state eastern time location for me um so basically i think for you it should be about fate like gravity i think about 10:30 is tomorrow right tomorrow it's a 10:30 whatever yeah so 10:30 should be about i think um 5 o'clock for you yeah i think it should be about 5 it should be about 5 o'clock for you I just love the screen on my like on my Instagram. <laughs> I just love it. This is one of my favorite Instagram screens. You know, love and light to all you beautiful people out there, all you beautiful souls. And uh yeah, I love it. Hmm. So yeah, so these things are important, and please practice all this in the theta state. You know, and the power of words have such an have such a huge role to play in terms of shaping our reality. Thank you, fate like gravity. Thank you. In fact, I was thinking, should I come today or I shouldn't come because like so late in the night for me here. But then I was like, okay, I'll go. Like I must go. You know, let's see who comes in because um, I want my followers to know that I'm always there for each one of you. And um, so yeah, I decided to come. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I just love connecting. Like I just love connecting with each one of you because, you know, each one of you um, are very special in my life, and you know, I just want you all to live a life of abundance and have a grateful heart and just live the life you want. You know, and I want this world to be like that. I just want this. It's time now for this world to change. You know, it just has to change. It cannot be about me myself. It cannot be like. It just not meant to be like that. It's meant to be beyond yourself, and it's about paying it forward, and uh, you know, being really there for everybody. And yes, unity, you know, indivisibility. And uh, so, this is a very nice uh, mantra by uh, Dalai Lama: Om Mani Padme Hum. And Hum means that indivisibility. you know and um, so that's very important and yeah, it just that it's uh, you know two years back i really couldn't imagine me coming like this on instagram live and start you know giving value and sharing value with everybody because i was so caught up with so many things happening in my life sorry that i never thought it's going to be like this but i just feel that like today also when i was writing my third book i don't know why i feel that whenever i'm writing it's like as if my soul is writing the book you know it's not me writing the book it's like it's like my higher self wants me to write this book you know and like even my first book right like i am a conscious creator within 2 months i got a 4.5 star rating on amazon.in and uh, you must get a copy of this in fact i hope fate like gravity you've got your copy because right now it's a kindle version which is free and it's there on amazon.com so get a copy of yours because this book which i've written my higher self has made me write this book i was channeled to write this book even today evening when i was writing my third book i don't know why i was feeling whatever words i'm writing is like as if my soul is writing as if you know like the way i went through my journey in terms of understanding gratitude yin to yang <laughs> so the thing is that basically like today evening also when i was writing my third book i was like oh my god like i don't know why i'm feeling like my soul is you know giving all the information what i went through and how i changed myself in my book it's like i was just thinking i was like what am i doing you know it's amazing and um, and when i'm writing it just the words keep on pouring they just I just keep on writing and writing and writing you know it's like I don't stop and I'm like okay wow <laughs> so <clears throat> blessed love yes so it's amazing and um, so yeah I'm like working on 3 4 books right now so I just I I will be publishing them soon now my books also and uh, for me you know like if somebody would ask you what do you want i would say that you know i just want to write my books and i want to coach people in terms of the power of subconscious mind self love and law of attraction because i know the journey i've been through i know what works what doesn't work what are the and i'm not trying to say that i'm some you know i'm some god or some guru or some whatever i'm not saying that i'm just saying that whatever i talk is what i've experienced in my life joy from my heart to yours oh that's so sweet <laughs> thank you so much faith like gravity thank you so <clears throat> it's really nice to connect with you and um, yeah and i got your dms also and i like them also so yeah it's really nice connecting with you So I was just wondering. I said, should I come or I shouldn't come? It's quite late, and then I'd come on that. Uh, you also part of it, the law of attraction person. I'd come on his uh, Instagram live, so I was just listening to him, and uh, so then I was like, oh my god, it's so late. <laughs> so yes, awareness of God within. Yeah, because the universe is within you. The God is within you, right? So you know that's what it is. Oh. Thank you so much. I feel so blessed when you said that. Like you're a goddess. That's like yeah. Like I really want a lot of people to come on my page and start following because I know I have so much to give out to the world. You know, faith like gravity. So much I want to give out to everybody. 
and um, I just want that the followers should increase a lot and uh, you know that more people come in because I want us to make this a community yes yeah and you know what very interesting time doesn't exist in the spiritual world yes and you know what the thing is that basically our mind understands only two times one is the past time the time gone by and the second is a future time which is going to come in and the past time has basically been the lessons you've learned and how you evolved and grown as a person and the future is like an illusion and now now that mind doesn't perceive because now is eternity you know and now the mind doesn't understand what is now you know because if you notice a lot of people are either living in their past thoughts or they are thinking about the ifs right if this is going to happen tomorrow it will be so wonderful if this is going to happen tomorrow this is going to be so wonderful and what happens in this process that people forget to live the now and now is so important because when you live the now then your future is taken care of yes the now is where the power is absolutely fate like gravity absolutely totally you know i would totally agree with you and it's just that people need to understand and realize that they have to come in acceptance with the now they cannot so for example you will notice people when they try and go anywhere or they are even talking to you their mind is wandering in 10000 places they're not there their body is there their physical form is there but they as a people they as a person they're not there their mind is thinking okay i have to do this i have to do that i have to do that you know so i think it's so important to live in the present the now you know the present moment we need to embrace and we need to understand where we are acceptance and then self love is so important you know like a lot of time you know i ask people i say okay so do you believe in the power of gratitude they will say yes i said do you believe that your self limiting beliefs can come in your way to make you you know accomplish the life you want they like yes i said do you believe that your fears are just gift <laughs> thank you my grandfather used to always say that to me he used to always say that to me he was like you know you have um, the power to share and because a lot of people time people you know they've gone through everything they know everything but they still don't want to share with the world and so yeah my grandfather used to always say that to me that i think i've got the i love sharing yes yeah right yeah so um that's what it is you know and then the thing is that if you know all these things you are agreeing on this then why don't you practice it why don't they practice it they know it but they don't want to practice you know and it's so important to practice everything right and theta state is the state when the subconscious mind is maximum receptive so for example even if you're meditating or you're doing affirmation any time of the day it will not make so much of a difference as compared to if you do it session right so i was just saying that basically you know it's not about the time of the day it's more about the theta state namaste beautiful soul hello beautiful soul sometimes sometimes no, i have to own that you trying to find my like, trying to find a beta state not so easy where are you from namaste new york new york usa wow beautiful so and i uh, want to go on that inner peace to that higher level and there is meditation there's contemplation there's clarity conversations but owning an idea of an identity that i've been to the identity that was blessed upon me yeah. so owning is hard <laughs> it's not so easy 
No, you know what? I'll tell you one thing. Uh, may I know your name, please? Dennis. Dennis. Uh, Dennis, see the thing. Dennis, right? D for Denmark. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I've been, fo- I've been I've been following you for a while, and I'm blessed to have this opportunity with you. Thank you so much. Means so much to me. And uh, you know the the words have got power. So just remember, whatever you say vocally, whatever you write, everything has got a vibration, and that right. becomes your reality. You know, like for instance, if we say that something is hard, then that becomes a self-limiting belief, and that stops us in accomplishing what we're trying to accomplish. So instead and of saying means- beautiful soul. instead I'll of you correct. saying yes Challenging. instead of saying yes it's instead of saying it's going to grow yes and i've yes. been growing this whole last year and a half has been a massive opportunity for me to be challenged to grow and i've continued forward progressive positive momentum in yes. spite of the challenges that could have held me back uh um, one gentleman i i speak to he's a an nlp professional and he is impressed because he asked me a challenge question what do i want and i said i am all about my history has all been about my formula has been about positive progressive momentum there's been challenges that would have stopped an elephant but i thank my divine intervention that i was born to be a giant but owning the identity of the blessings that i could achieve if i owned it as compared to the massive presence that i've been to the average and i help people get past their their hiccups their challenges i need i would prefer to have in my life somebody who is on that observation perception to fill the gap does that make sense absolutely you have, you have a divine presence in my life i followed you so i'm grateful for this opportunity so is my challenge the gap or owning the identity and i'm trying so to create a little background about me as a person how i became what i became 10 years back i was like any other person i had a lot of self limiting beliefs i had a very conditioned mindset and i had a lot of fears a lot of them and about 4 years back so what what was happening in my life was every time i would put in the effort i would see the same results again and again and again and my reality wasn't changing and i at that time met one of my friend and she said amrita you will have to go and reprogram your subconscious mind in the theta state and at that time i couldn't understand these words because they looked like big jargons for me they look like very heavy words for me reprogramming my subconscious mind theta state i was like any other person and at that time i went on youtube and i met my first mentor and i i followed that person i heard the person and there was something in him that made me resonate with that person and my journey started of inner transformation so when you come at that vibration then what basically when the student is ready the teacher appears right are you and, are you going are you my teacher no no i <laughs> i don't know right now i'm just communicating with you right now what happened in my journey of inner transformation right i'm just telling you what happened to me and so four years back i connected with a person and i started listening to the night meditation it's been four years every morning i get up with a grateful heart I thank each and everything in my life starting from my bed where I get a good night's sleep to my quilt to my parents in life you know we don't even realize how much our parents have done for us and time is going by 
and our parents are not going to be there one day i don't know about your side but so much what you're saying is true and many times we believe what our parents have done to us but when we accept that what they have done for us that made us who we are makes us more grateful than bitter absolutely and absolutely and you know like i just think that time goes by right and we miss like people miss their parents when they're not there but i want to ask a question that when your parents were there what did you do for them why are you missing them when they're not there right why did you not do the things you had so much of time opportunities everything you could have done anything but anyway so that is like a more detailed thing we'll talk later so basically i start with thanking my parents my loved ones and people are talking about affirmation law of attraction everywhere but they're forgetting a lot of things which i experience in my journey the first thing is that all this has to be done in the theta state it has to be done in the theta state and nobody th th e t a okay it has and, to be but, done. see yeah. i look at i look at a lot of the people i speak to and how i used to be which is pushing for an alpha state but alpha in the power state combines with an identity that doesn't exist it exists only in the mind's ideal ideal not idea the beta this is a, it could be a deep conversation and a lot of people that are going to watch this is going to be they're going to be confused so we will have conversations on this later on but right. on the simple idea of parents now for me, i gave up a possible identity to give to my parents but i was giving to my family my cousins my parents my you know, their their insecurities their history their ideas i was giving to them from the resources that could have made me exponential but i allowed myself the limitations which was still above average they look at me and say we still believe in the absolute phenomenal you could be but i was giving to them not realizing that they're going to be who they're going to be absolutely and sorry to say but they may be functioning from a conditioned mindset see let's understand that when a baby is born the baby is born as a pure soul the baby has no yes. preconceived notion the baby has yep. no assumptions in life the baby comes into this world with a divine purpose but when and okay two feet. one thing so, yes falling from falling from height and loud noises that's it yes, there's only two yes. from birth that's it yes, everything else is created by minds absolutely and uh, you must uh, pick up my book which has got a 4.5 star rating on amazon within 2 months uh, Say my it again. book is i am so i've published my book on amazon worldwide Okay. And within two months, my book has got a four point five star rating, and the Kindle version right now is free uh, till tomorrow. So it's called "I Am a Conscious Creator." I am a conscious creator. Okay. Now the thing is, people are talking about I am a creator. See, if, according to me, right? And please understand, I am no one to tell you how to live your life. I am not some god. or i'm not some you know whatever you thinking i'm not that person i can no, never I, tell you that live I'll your life tell you what like i think. i'll tell you what i think and maybe people who would hear this message would understand you are both the leader through confusion and you're also the cement to fill the gaps your power your intelligence your energy your information is a leader but also more important 
the cement that will secure the foundation for potential growth if you're willing to accept. The information that you have is phenomenal. What There's I've so seen, much talking from, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I'm so sorry to interrupt. I am not talking from a theoretical point of view. Please understand. I have been through this journey of inner transformation for four years. Mm. It's been four years since I have reprogrammed my subconscious mind in the theta state. For four years, I've been doing meditation. For four years, I've connected my inner self every day of my life. And I never start my day without connecting with my inner self. I don't just go out and start talking to my family members and they all know it. I can't do it. I've told them four years back, I'm so sorry, but I need to first connect with my inner self and then I come out outside. I don't connect okay. with anybody at that time. So there is no confusion. And I'm talking to you for the first time. So I'll tell you what, whatever I'm talking, I'm not talking out of a book or I'm not talking about what I've just heard. No, I went through this journey in my life. And for four years, I've been practicing meditation every morning in my theta state. I've been practicing affirmation every morning in my theta state. And my day cannot start without having a grateful heart, without meditation and without affirmation. And I understand the depth of everything because I've experienced this journey. I'm not talking to you that I've heard this thing here or I've heard this thing here. And basically today what I realize is that everything are dots that we join in our life. And there are no accidents. And you and I were meant to be on this call together. Because all that you have in your life, whoever you talk to, you've attracted each and every person in your life. At the vibration you're at. That's what attracts everybody in your life. Now, a lot of time people are talking about law of attraction. But they're forgetting so many things which I experience in my journey of inner transformation. Law of attraction is working whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not, whatever it is, it's working 24 by 7. Do we ever question the law of gravity? Do we ever say, oh, is the law of gravity working? I don't know. Let's try. I don't know whether it's working or not. Then why do we question the law of attraction? Why? Why do we question that? The second thing is people think law of attraction is just to go and visualize. And what happens after that? They get busy doing other things. Now, whatever those other things are, are they getting you closer to your goals or are they drifting you away from your goals? You go and visualize something. And then if you go and do the opposite of that, it's not going to be beneficial in any manner. The second thing is when we visualize, we have to have immense belief that this is our reality. A lot of time, people want instant gratification. Oh, I visualize right now. I want to see the results right now. Even Rome wasn't built overnight. Let's understand that very well. When Rome wasn't built overnight, then what kind of a shortcut are we expecting? Or what kind of instant gratification are we expecting? The third thing is aligned actions. People are talking about visualizing and action. Or people are talking about visualizing and receiving. Like, let's be, let's be logical about everything. And I'm talking from a very scientific point of view. Let's understand that you visualize, you believe in it wholeheartedly. And you take aligned actions. You can't just believe, you can't just ask. When you're asking, you're asking from a scarcity mindset. You're telling the universe that you don't have this thing. That's why you're asking for it. And then you're believing in it half-heartedly. And then you're expecting to receive it. Yep. Are we serious? Yep. That's, that's the people. That's what this world has created right now. Modern that's technology, instant gratification, order Amazon, order this, and it's in your hands in a moment. Yeah, it is a whole lot. The working hard ideal is the keystone to the law of attraction but it's also the law of action that makes it exactly effective metrics yep I, I understand continue because the last word of attraction is action when you spell attraction the last word is action and if you look at my post of today I have put in the last word of attraction is action 
I'll go take a look it's at it now really as soon as we're done. Right? It's so important. And the power is within each one of us. But people give their power to somebody else. They say, you know what, this person will change our life. Nobody will change anybody's life except yourself. You can either be a problem in your life or you can be a solution to your life. The choice is yours. And it's always about the will of creating the life you want to have. Because where there's a will, there is a way. The way is created. You don't have to look at the way. The way will come. As long as you have the will, the way will be shown. And it was shown to me four years back. And four years back, I was so fed up with my life, I can't even tell you. I told God one day, I said, God, what is going on in my life? I'm seeing the same results again and again. I'm done. I'm seriously done with all this. And as I went by, I met my mentor. The other mentor came in. They all came in. And I started listening to each one of them. I implemented whatever they told me. Because if I hadn't implemented them, I would have become a shelf development. Like any other book you can exhibit in your bookshelf. So I don't want to be S-H-E-L-F. I want to be S-E-L-F. Right? It's self-development. It's basically self. You, what does self-development mean? It means you have to do it yourself. You're not saying other development. You're not saying other development. You're saying self-development. That you develop yourself. And the power is within you. You just have to commit that yes, I will change to see a change in my life, in my environment. Be the change you want to see. Even in, I've been practicing Buddhism for 10 years. And Buddhism says the same thing. Buddhism says, when you change, your environment changes. Yes. But if you don't change, nothing will change nothing. for you. Nothing. Let's understand. And a lot of people say, this person changes, I will change. This person changes, I will change. Nobody will change. Nobody will change. The change has to start with you. Has to. So, I know that. So that's the question I asked you in the uh, middle, which uh, is, is the change that I'm looking for or that I don't realize or I can't visualize, is it the change of the gap or the complete change in identity? So is it the minor shift of direction that can answer that for me? Or is it the major shift of direction that I will answer that? I love your question. You must get my book, I Am a Conscious Creator. In my book, I've mentioned what is a change and what is a transformation. Change is very momentary. Change is something which is very small, the way you just spoke about right now. Transformation is big. It changes your complete mindset to an abundant mindset. It's a change forever. So what happened in my life, when I started my journey of inner transformation, I didn't just change myself. I transformed my mind in the theta state. And, you know, like for example, see, change is something which is there today. It may not be there tomorrow. It's very momentary. It's very short-lived. It has a very short duration. But a transformation is forever. It's a permanent transforming of you, you know, from a caterpillar mm. to a butterfly. You know? So... That's what it is. And transformation is very big. Change is constant. Transformation is everlasting. So Absolutely. I get that. I understand that. And, and, and there's a lot of people who just need the shift because they're just right at that cusp, that right at that edge. And they just need that shift of change. And there's some people that need that transformation the clarity conversations that i do with people so what do you do as such i don't know what do you do as such we connect for the first time and faith like gravity is writing practice to become yes a lot of time you know people are just doing and doing and doing you have to become the person you want to be in life you have to think like the person you have to feel like the person you have to act like the person and 
then you become the person a lot of time people are saying when i get this particular thing then i will feel happy i'll feel grateful it doesn't happen like that right you have to feel it that you've got it and then you will see it in your reality you know and a lot of time you know people say oh like i am having a financial problem and they say god give me money you know when you going through financial problem you say god give me money i don't have money what do i do god is saying you're selfish your focus is only money so rather than you asking me for money why don't you ask me how may i serve more people how may i create more value for other people it's very simple right you serve nobody you get nothing you serve one person you get an x amount you serve five people you get an x plus you serve 10 people you get an x plus plus so money is it is in direct proportion with the value anyone creates in anybody's life but the problem is people are trying to chase money and money will never come in the life because money is a by product it's very simple right if you're in a if you're married or if you have if you're not married if you're a bachelor uh, so for example if you're chasing your spouse what will your spouse do the spouse will go away and away from you the spouse will say please you know let me be why are you all the time coming and sitting on top of my head similarly what matters is your relationship with money right it's your relationship about- your relationship with everything your relationship Absolutely. with yourself your relationship with your job your relationship with your partner your relationship with your family and each one has a different identity of presence but at the same time has a consistent formula and like you said are you self-serving or greater serving your but i tell you what i'm so sorry to interrupt self i'm so sorry to interrupt but self-serving will come with greater serving like for example self-love is the best love self-love is the greatest love so be it because if you're not love from inside how can you give love to anybody in the world if you are hollow from inside you can never give love outside if i ask you say for 10 oranges or 10 apples you don't have them how will you give it to me you can't give it to me if i ask you for it can you give me what you don't have you you've messaged this out before and i it caught my attention and it's one of the reasons why that i follow you is you have a tremendous balance of both self identity self confirmation and just that idea of self that you present in your messages is is phenomenal and at the same time what you give is on that balance of i can give you from what i have and if what i have is a penny presence but it offers you phenomenal potential then the balance is met and you've taught me that and i've listened to your messages and some of the things that you say and you say it from where you you are your authenticity your reality is just a phenomenal place to me and the opportunity to have this conversation with you helps me realize i've been living small to myself and to the people who I'm, i'm trying to honor and love so the shift this year for me is right at the edge of jump time to jump time to take the leap of faith right and quantum jumping quantum jumping is very very important and you know i've done exercises with water i've done quantum jumping with water there are a lot of things i've done for the past 4 years so i'm coming up with my master class of the 4 week intense program where i want everyone to come in and attend this 4 week intense program where you will bring a shift in your mindset and your counselor your companion your advisor whatever you want to call it any name they all mean the same thing it's me i will be personally involved with everything with every person in my master class of four week intense program 
and i'm going to show you what all happened there's so much i'm i'm just talking to you right now of one fourth of what we can talk right now because we of course have a time duration and you know how it is but then there you're going to be like connecting with me like on a consistent basis you know so that's what i'm looking at truly i appreciate your time your attention and your information and i know you said you know you have a limited time on this particular live event so thank you very much for being a presence in my life and i'm looking forward to connect with more thank you so much and just remember the words you use shape your reality they just shape like for example small you know you're not small please stop calling yourself storm a small that you're small in terms of what you do no you don't that's again becoming your belief system these words become our belief system and then they shape our reality so just i hope i hope that our time has helped people that are going to listen to this message understand the your potential to impact even just the the exposure we've had so i hope that this will be a commercial version for what you're able to create on a phenomenal level when people commit to following you like i've been following you and thank, thank you very you much thank you so much and means a lot namaste beautiful soul namaste thank you thank you so i'll and let you power, i'll let you finish the call this remember you are more powerful than what you know you are if i ask you who are you you're not just your name your name your parents have given you if i ask you your qualification it's what you've done in your life you are deeper than what you know you are and the real you you will get to know when you connect with your inner self and align yourself with your higher self it has to be an inward journey it has to be inside out we have to stop looking at the results outside they have no relevance because what is what you are today is based on your limiting beliefs on everybody's limiting belief whatever they are today what they are today is based on their conditioned mindset some people are more conditioned some people are less but everybody is conditioned and i realized that 4 years back and there's been no turning back i will never go back there never that's what it is and i feel very blessed that you know i did do my inner transformation journey and thank you so much thank you i feel I'm very blessed. happy with it i'm yeah. blessed that your journey and you, the difference of your mess to becoming your message has been a phenomenal presence for me so i'm looking forward to next step next level thank you so much thank you and have a great day thank you thank you namaste beautiful soul namaste namaste so wonderful connecting with such with this beautiful soul and all of you and uh, i just you know pray every morning that i can connect with each one of you and can share my journey what i went through what kind of person i was and what i became because i know that the power is within him and within each one of you dennis has the power to be whatever he wants to be and he's a miracle and he is born for greatness and so are all of you you are much more powerful than what you know you are and whatever i'm saying is not from some book or something you know anything of that sort it's been my own journey and uh, yeah no excuse yeah nyc thank you blessed ha thank you so much dennis it's been so wonderful to connect with you and you can have all that you want everything just remember the words have power whatever words you use shapes your reality it makes you who you are what you think the whole day 
you become that person and practice all this in the theta state that is just when you wake up in the morning and just before going to sleep you have to practice gratitude meditation affirmation and i'm coming up with a master class a three a four week intense program where it's going to be interactive it's going to be basically rebooting your 2021 and making it your best year it's going to be about bringing a shift in your mindset i'm ready to give you my 100% and i'm extending my hand forward to all of you and i look forward to seeing all of you in my four week intense program and thank you so much for connecting take care namaste beautiful souls